We have. We need to see if we can get a better view of them though. And I've got good news for all of you. You're actually going to be able to see two cheetah now. How exciting! And not just one that's hiding in the grass. It's, there we go. We'll just have a very quick look. They look like they're starting to wake up now, which is very exciting. It was well worth hanging around, but there they are! The reunition! No, that's not a word. They have finally <laughs> reunited. I got too excited there and tried to put too many words together. But how fantastic is this? Now, I had a look at the brother with the murky eye, if you will. He's around, which is good. And I hope that they get up. They did a little greeting just now. They nudged heads and they were sitting up on a bit of purring, which is the most amazing noise as well. So let's see. Hopefully now they'll get up and then they'll start walking and maybe looking for something. I have the mood. Oh, sense of smell. Good hearing and fantastic eyesight too. So normally it would be quite easily, uh, quite easily, quite easy, goodness gracious Taylor, quite easy, I must be dehydrated, for them to relocate each other again, even just by their, their smell. But they're obviously chased so far away from each other, and com two complete different areas, perhaps two complete different directions, that by the time they realized that they were not with each other, they went, oops, this is a bit too far. Michael, you were asking when they were reunited. I'm actually not certain. As far as I'm aware, and this is the first sighting we've had of them together, but, you know, like I said, this grass is so long. They could have been here for the last couple of days, even the last few weeks. And with it being so hot during the day, as most cats will do, is if they do lay in the shade, even though cheetah are more active during the day, they still like to rest up, especially if they've made a couple of uh, foiled attempts. It's... Uh, let me just help guide them. We're just helping. I think Sean's just trying to figure out where the cheetah are. He can't quite see them just yet. So I was just guiding with my hands as to where they were. But he should get a glimpse of them now. I don't think he's seen them. Oh, there we go. Just helping him. I think his trackers just spotted them. Now it's very, very awkward. And this is, again, where we're so lucky is because we can zoom right in and get a good close look because if you sit where I'm sitting and see what I'm seeing, it's a completely different view to what is coming out on screen. So we're exceptionally lucky over here. So, so I'm not certain. So they could have joined up ages ago, but uh, I'll have, you know what I'll do is I'll actually have a chat. I'll try and find out from Shanae from Nkoro, because the cheetah seem to pass through Nkoro quite a bit. So hopefully she'll be able to give us a bit of insight as to when these boys reunited, or perhaps this is the first time. Maybe it was just in the last couple of days. But it was interesting because their behavior definitely changed. They normally spend quite a bit of time in Mala Mala, of course, on cheetah plains and coral. They go into Torchwood um, occasionally too. But they kept walking up and down. They were going from, from the south to the north to the east, a little bit further west, and just continuously going up and up and down, hoping uh, that they'd come across each other's scent and then lead, each, well, lead back to each other, which has finally happened. But look at that. As Craig pans like that, they completely disappear in the long grass. Isn't that just absolutely amazing? And the bush is looking really good at the moment. It's not too green. I always find when the grass is really, really green after the first sets of rains, it looks a bit artificial. It looks like we've got some irrigation set, uh, system set up and we put it on every night. So this grass is looking a little bit more natural. But of course everything is, is natural out here. We are not watering any of the plants or anything along those lines. It's just from the rain, but it's nice. You can see the common finger grass and the crow's foot grass has all changed slightly more yellow, which is quite lovely now.